Today we're going to be turning Dollar Tree broomstick candles into a giant Christmas decoration. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I also want to welcome you to day two of this week's Christmas extravaganza where I'm bringing you a brand new Dollar Tree Christmas DIY all week long. And I am creating a playlist. I'll put that up here and you can go back and rewatch all of these simple and easy and also inexpensive Dollar Tree DIYs. But today we're turning these Dollar Tree broomsticks into a giant Christmas star. So let's go ahead and get started right now. So head on into your local Dollar Tree and head over to the cleaning supplies section. This is a product that I've pretty much found in every Dollar Tree I've ever been to. So I'm hoping you all can find them too. All right, you guys, I am so excited about this DIY today. I love these broomsticks that are from Dollar Tree. I have created even a giant plant stand with these before, and I'll link that video down below if you wanna check it out. Today, we're gonna be using these to create a giant Christmas star. So you will need five of these broomstick handles. I think they have them in white too. Usually I find them in black at my store, so I'm gonna be using them, but keep in mind you can also spray paint these if you want to. Then we're also gonna need a few supplies and basic tools, and I'll give you some alternatives too if you don't have these. A lot of things hopefully you already have around the house, or you can find a Dollar Tree. So first up is a hand saw and a miter box. You don't necessarily need the miter box, and you can also find saws at Dollar Tree too a hammer, again, something you can find at Dollar Tree, a scraper, that's what I call them. They're like a putty knife, Dollar Tree. You'll need some black electrical tape, two rolls for a dollar at Dollar Tree, super duper cheap. And the only other thing I'll be using is a heat gun. And if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a regular hair dryer too. You'll need some kind of glue, such as super glue or a hot glue or a heavy duty adhesive. Dollar Tree has a giant selection of super glues that you can choose from. And the only other thing that you'll need are some Christmas lights. And now let's work on prepping these handles and getting them all ready so we can start making that star. This is where your saw and your putty knife and heat gun are gonna come in handy. We need to remove the plastic handle off of the top as well as the sticker around the handle part. And at the very end, there is a twisty plastic screw part that would screw into your broom. We need to cut that off too. So don't let this scare you. It is so simple to just saw right through that plastic piece. It's pretty soft, so it goes pretty quickly too. You're gonna go ahead and repeat that for all five of your broomstick handles. Then we need to work on getting that handle off the top and they are glued on pretty good. So go ahead, grab out your heat gun or hair dryer, heat up the adhesive, and then those will pop right off the end. These stickers are probably the trickiest part of this whole project and getting those off. So a heat gun comes in super handy for melting all the adhesive underneath there. Then be very careful as these are metal poles and they get really hot. So you may wanna use some gloves. Be very careful as you remove those stickers. You'll also probably have some leftover residue from the adhesive. So a little bit of Goo Gone rubbed over that section will come right off. All right, so here's all my poles, all cleaned up, prepped, ready to go. But now I have all of these broom handle pieces, little hook pieces. If you guys have ideas of what I could use these for, leave those down in the comments below. I'm thinking maybe feet on something or like a hook to hang something, but I'm sure you guys have great ideas too. So leave those down in the comments for me. Now let's go ahead and start building this giant star. All right, so we first need to create the top point of our star. So I do have a piece of scrap wood here too. We are gonna need to do a little bit more work. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses and use your hammer to kind of hammer the end out flat. This one has that plastic piece left over from the twist end, so that's probably gonna come out or get squished and that's fine. Just take your hammer and flatten the end out. 
So you're gonna go ahead and do this for both ends of all five of your poles. And then we can start building our star. We're gonna use a combination of adhesives. This is a super glue first. That's gonna give us a long-term tight bond. But in the meantime, we're also gonna use some hot glue. That's gonna set up more quickly for us so we can create this project a little bit more fast and that way we're not waiting for dry time. You're also going to be adding some electrical tape around these points to make it even more secure and a nice connection at each one of those points. So here's what the first two poles are going to look like creating that point at the top and then we can move down to the bottom point there do the same thing we're going to be adding that super glue and then the hot glue and taping our ends together and then moving to the end of that pole over and then back down to the bottom again basically just like connecting dots also, if you are looking for some fun and unique ways to use those mini Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, I just posted a super fun video that is just chock full of inspiration and ideas. I'll make sure to put that up in the iCards and down in the description box. That would definitely be a fun video to check out next. So here is our basic star shape and we have a really nice looking star but as you can see we have a lot of movement still going on in here we need to add some more tape to the cross points so where these kind of overlap each other add some more electrical tape in there that is what is going to secure the star into that star shape <laughs> And now that our star is complete, we need to reinforce those points again because there was some movement as we were adjusting this into the shape that we wanted. Just add a little bit more electrical tape to each end to close them off. And look how big this awesome star is. And now it's nice and secure so we can start adding our twinkle lights on. I did need about 200 lights to cover this whole star. I ended up purchasing two sets of 100 and just connecting them and trying to my best to hide that connection point with some black electrical tape to kind of camouflage it. Definitely keep that electrical tape handy because as you wrap these around the poles and you can kind of add some electrical tape as you go along. Oh my goodness, and look how awesome this is. Completely covered in twinkle lights. And yes, you can put this outside too. You just need to make sure that your twinkle lights are made for outdoor use before using it outside, but you can use it inside too, wherever you'd like. And it is not the prettiest, but when you plug it in, that is when the magic really happens. I love the way this looks next to the Christmas tree. You could put it on top of a large Christmas tree, but at nighttime, it just really comes alive. I love the way that this star turned out. You can see just how big it is and it looks so good at night too. And if you're looking for even more Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs, I'll have a couple more videos popping up on the screen that you can click over to and watch next. I'll also have a circle button right here that you can click and subscribe so you can come back for even more Christmas inspiration here all week long. And I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow in an all new Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. Happy holidays.